All right, get ready for some thunder. This time of the year, spring into summer, we often hear a lot of thunder and see a lot of lightning. I'm about to make lightning happen right here in my house. It's a very easy science project you can do at home with the kids and involves just a few very basic, simple ingredients that you might have around the house. Now, basically, this is a smaller version of actual lightning. We're not gonna make an actual lightning bolt go right through my house. This is more like static electricity and it involves the separation of charge, positive charge, which are your protons and the negative charge, which are your electrons. And a very similar process happens in a thunderstorm cloud with the separation being caused by all those frozen raindrops colliding together. All right, so you may have these things around your house. I have here an aluminum pie plate right here. I have a styrofoam plate, a pencil with a relatively new eraser on the other end. It's very important because this thumbtack is actually gonna pierce right through it. And then you need basically a piece of wool, any kind of wool will do. This happens to be an old ski sock of mine, so it's got plenty of wool, and this is what's gonna get our charge going. This is a sharp thumbtack, you wanna watch out for that. Uh, maybe have mom or dad or grown up help you, but you basically wanna pierce the middle of your pie plate, like that, right in the middle, and then take your eraser and just very carefully put it right through the middle. There you go. And that provides your handle so that you can pick it up carefully. All right, now, the fun part. And this is what kind of makes my arm a little tired because I did this last night. Uh, but you basically want to take your wool sock or any piece of wool that you have, and you're gonna rub on this styrofoam plate for like a good two minutes. So um, I think the trick is too, and I found when I was doing this experiment, you really have to do it kind of quickly to really build up that charge. And it's okay if your plate cracks like mine did. <laughs> Okay, now very carefully without touching too many things, what you wanna do is take your pie plate now and hold it like this, and you're going to put the styrofoam plate right on top. And you'll actually notice it's, it's sticking. There's actually an attraction right there already, you can tell. And then what you wanna do is just touch the, the metal or the, uh, the aluminum pie plate, and you'll actually feel a little bit of a shock. Don't worry, it's not It's not too painful, but you can feel that little tiny shock and that's basically the charge, the negative charge, that is finding your positively charged finger and finding its way to the ground. Um, what you wanna do, by the way, is do this experiment in the evening with all the lights off and you can see the spark. You can actually see that little tiny bright light or you can go in a closet if it's during the day and you can do this experiment and actually see the little bright light that shows up. 